Sometimes they say, how do you recognize an Indian? An Indian is known by a man or a lady who will use the shampoo till the last bit by putting water to the bottle. How do you recognize an Indian? You would know an Indian by a man or a lady who will use the balan, the rolling pin, to squeeze the last bit of the toothpaste out of the toothpaste. How do you recognize an Indian? An uh, Indian is a person who gives another person a missed call. That culture doesn't exist in the world. There's nothing like a missed call in the world, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. How do you know an Indian? You would know an Indian by a person who will use a t-shirt till there's a hole in it. And once it's used, unusable in the day because there's a hole in it, you would probably start using it in the night. And if it's still not usable in the night any longer, you keep it for holy. And if it's not even usable for holy, then you use that pocha. <laughs> then you know, for sure you know then, that you are truly an Indian. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we are known for our sparing nature. No wonder a lot of people in this world are super wealthy. In this country are super wealthy. Uh, India is known for Bollywood. India is known for its cricket. India is known for its beautiful architecture, magnificent edifices. India is known for its Himalayas. India is known for its literary contributions. India is known to be a developing economy now. Indeed, India is known for many, many things. But what India is specially known for on this planet Earth is its unique contribution in the field of spirituality. Wherever I travel in the world, I see people glorifying, talking about, eulogizing the principle of spirituality that comes from this great land, Bharat Bhumi.